check out our newest listing right here. How are you doing, South El Monte? We have a fantastic new home for sale in South El Monte, just for you. Address is 9937 Alicia Street in South El Monte, California. It is three bedrooms, one bath, and it's about 1,100 square feet. And it is fantastic. Freshly painted on the inside, new flooring. You are not going to be disappointed. Nathan, show them the great street and all the neighborhood. Nathan Alvarez is our cameraman today. And we're so excited because we're training Nolan Alvarez to be the next cameraman. All right, let's go inside. refrigerator and then of course you've got the electric oven nice corner sink as well I really love this corner sink right here gives you direct view into the backyard where the two car detached garage is lots of storage as well family's been original owners of this house they've had it forever mom just recently passed away in the house of natural causes and it is just a beautiful, beautiful home. Love it, right? And then of course you'll make your way right over here into what we would call the utility room. I love that you do have an actual utility room. Gives you direct access to the backyard. You've got room for the washer and dryer in the house. And then of course additional storage right above there. Yeah, great space, very nice. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go back the other direction so you get a real sense of feel for the house. Again, very comfortable kitchen, lots of natural light coming in this house. It's got such a soft feel to it. Very inviting, very comfortable. So you're going to go right down that hallway, Nathan. Go ahead and show them that great hallway where you're going to find three spacious bedrooms. I love it. There's bedroom number one as you go right in there, right? Nice ceiling fan in there for you. Lots of natural light coming in. You've got mirrored closets. Again, cellar tip. The cellar was so smart, right? They did the same flooring all throughout the house. It's a very nice wood laminate. 
um, and it is been put through the entire house, makes the house feel very large, very free flowing, feels great. Lots of natural energy just going through the home. I mean, you've got these great corner windows that allow for a lot of light to come in. And then, of course, the, the fact that you've got the double mirrored closet doors right here. Nice size bedroom as well. Again, I'm almost six foot, so look at how tall that is for you. Nice high ceilings, right? Very high ceilings. I love right here a nice full size or queen size bed would fit really nicely right here. And you could drop a bed table right here and then right here in the corner where Nathan's hanging out would be a great space for a dresser. Lots of space in here. Very, very good space. You could do a three or four bedroom piece of furniture in here with no challenge at all. Sometimes sellers, um, buyers have a really hard time seeing the size of the house due to the fact that there's no furniture in here. And so we have to help them to envision that space by placing the furniture just in the right spot. So come on in. Let's see it. Of course, you can do it any way you like. Make the way down the hallway. You've got some additional storage right here. Original built-in cabinets. Nathan, show them the depth of that. It's good space, right? Very, very, very good space right there. I love it. And then still more right up above here, right? Right up there. Gosh, floor to ceiling cabinets. That's great. Now let's make our way into the one and only bathroom. Yes, there's only one bathroom. But here's an idea. If you really wanted that additional bathroom in the house, you could always shift that laundry room because the plumbing's already in place, right? And add a second bathroom. Otherwise, this bathroom is fantastic. It's a good size. Again, nicely maintained. Go ahead, Nathan, show them that space. Nice tile countertops bright windows when you come in great space again that same nice flooring throughout you've got a great vanity and then the um, shower is in great great shape original bathtub and then a nice tile finish in here as well i love i know you all probably want like granite or something like that but i've got to tell you these accent colors in here are fantastic with this blue tile it gives it a very soft refreshing feel because that's what blue does for you and then it has this nice gray accent feels great i love it very refreshing and then of course right here you've got a a great toilet, which is a new toilet installed for you. All right, let's go to the bedroom two. Love bedroom two. All the rooms are about the same size, right? So again, it would be really nice to have a, a bed right here, or you could do a bed right here. Again, you could do a full or a queen size bed with no challenge. Lots of space if you count it off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I wear a size 10 shoe, right? And then you come across here, count this off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great space. Um, nine by eight, I would say, right? Or eight by nine, whatever it is. Another wonderful ceiling fan, brand new just installed in here too. Again, the family just freshly painted the entire house and you've got that same flooring throughout. Feels great, really, really spacious and lots of natural coming in, natural light coming in the windows. The original windows are original. Come on over Nathan, show them this. I love it because these are the windows I grew up with, right? You have the original little lock and then open, right? And it's strung nicely. They're in great shape. They don't slam. They're really very functional. Make a good fit. So when you want to update windows, you could, and it's not necessary. They function fa fantastically. Let's go into bedroom three. Wow, this space is big. Love this. So people would be like, oh, is that really a bedroom, Lori? Because look at all those doors. It truly is a bedroom. Again, what makes a bedroom a bedroom? 
Well, it's a closet, of course. So the closet is right here for you. Lots of space in there. We've got a few utility pieces in there to keep the house nicely maintained, right? So you've got right here another nice large bedroom. Love the space. Another ceiling fan in great shape. It's a brand new ceiling fan. And then I'm gonna count the space off for you again because you could for sure put a twin, full, or queen in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, oh, seven, and a half. seven and a half or so. And then let's count this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and almost nine. So guess what? This room's probably the smallest of the three, and still it's a great size room. You could do a bed on this wall, get a lot of comfort going out this way. A dresser could fit right there on the wall to the right of Nathan. There you go, Nathan. Right, and then you could do a beautiful little um, end table right over here, night table, and potentially another one right here. Lots of space. They had animals, so they have a little doggy door, which is nice. Show them that little doggy door, Nathan. Got a little doggy door right there if you wanted to. And then a nice closet, again, for additional storage. So, and then, okay, so let's go out that door, which will take us right to the backyard. And if you didn't notice, there's a fantastic pool back there. Let's see that. Okay, so this is right on that utility room, right? Which is what I said. You could if you wanted to, potentially, right? You gotta check with the city to see if you could put a bathroom in there if you wanted to move the laundry outside. Um, here's the water heater. It is outside exterior water heater, which is really nice. And then it is air conditioned. The house is air conditioned and you'll find that on top of the house. And we're going to make our way into the pool area. Now, I love, love this area. And I've got to tell you why. Uh, for me personally, this brings a lot of memories to me. Because I grew up in this neighborhood. Um, I grew up with this family. And I used to swim here all the time. And I do believe my baby sister, Amy, was taught to swim here, is what I hear. So, and you all know Amy, she's our buyer's agent, right? So, you know, you've got this great pool area here, nicely maintained, it's in great shape, really nice big space. Of course, my understanding now these days is with pools, these diving boards are no longer allowed. So I'm gonna suggest that you not use the diving board at all. If you come to the property, when you come to the property, Please do not go on it. We want to make sure we keep everyone healthy and safe and um, stay right off of that. I also love in that corner right there, Nathan, show them the bench seat area right there. Really nice space uh, for the family to just sit and gather, relax when you're busy swimming, right? And since there's a diving board, that would likely tell you that the depth of this pool is uh, probably about 12 feet. I am not a pool specialist, so please verify that information, uh, but I would definitely say that it probably is quite a bit in there. You've got this great space right over here on the side of the pool area where you can enjoy some entertainment. When I was a young girl, we used to always get served uh, peanut, uh, no, never peanut butter and jelly, but we always got served a little uh, tuna sandwich and apple juice. This was our space. We got to sit right here and enjoy it. It was so fun. Um, just so many family memories back here. Could you just imagine yourself and your family back here having fun, enjoying the time together? Great, great space. Family's taking great care of the house. You'll see you have block walls all around the house. Uh, so it works nicely. They're all in great shape as well. You do have a barbecue over here. Uh, it's called, what is it called? Fire Magic. So I don't know that it's been used anytime soon, but it is definitely here and, you know, a great space for you to go ahead and create that new barbecue. Okay, now let's go check out the driveway because there's lots of space. Yes, this is direct access into the garage. It is a standard two-car garage 
full of lots of stuff, so we don't even need to look in there, right? It is not drywalled on the inside, because I know some of you would want to know that. It is a standard two-car garage. And let's go right over here. I love, I love, when you're a pool owner, right? When you're a pool owner, you do need to make sure that you have your pool enclosed, fenced, right? That is a requirement for California to have an enclosed pool. And this one has already been done for you, which is nice. Right here, you'll find the nice two car garage. It is detached. I love the added features too. You don't find it too often that uh, the families have gutters already up on the property. So gutters are a nice feature on a house because when it rains, the water will drain right off the roof, right? Drain right into the gutter. And if those gutters are well maintained, you should always clean your gutters out. When they're well maintained, that water will flow and come right out here. And if you'll see, the sloping on this driveway is fantastic. The water looks to run away from the house. That's very important, right? You'll see where the discoloration is on the driveway is where the water is running. So buyers, when you're looking for homes, you wanna see, oh, what is this, right? This is where water is flowing. It's making its way out of the property, which is nice. It's slowly flowing out, um, and you don't ever want your water to flow towards the house because water can do damage in real estate, and we don't want that to happen. So it's very nice that this all moves away. Now, the other thing you can see here is the electrical system is well maintained. It uh, doesn't look like it's been updated to a 220 volt panel. However, it is a very nice panel right here. And you'll see right here, these vents, show them a close up, Nathan, of that vent. That means that this house is on a raised foundation. And I love that one, it's covered, right? Why do you wanna have these covered? You don't want critters under your house. That is bad news. To have critters under the house does not make sense. They could go under the house, they could potentially die, and oh, then the smell is horrendous, right? Or worse, they can go under there and they can chew things up and do damage to your property. You don't want that to happen, right? And so you'll find here is the nice long driveway, great driveway. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at these decorative finishes on the vents. Love it. The house was on a raised foundation. The nice thing about a house being on a raised foundation, aside from, um, it's just a, like it feels good to me. I love raised foundation houses, right? But when you do have a house on a raised foundation, it makes it much easier to get to that plumbing because it's all available for you. So it's in great shape. And then of course, we're back in the front of the house. It's a fantastic property. Uh, this uh, porch going right up to the house can easily be removed. The family put it in so that it could be easily accessible because at, um, uh, at the end, we needed additional support for the family. You'll see all of that. So that's what all of this is. And so it can be easily removed if you would like to have that removed once you take possession of the property, right? The house has been maintained beautifully. I love the grass. You can see the grass is great quality grass. Show them up close of that grass, Ethan. Fantastic, fantastic shape. Uh, you've got sprinklers as well, and it seems that the sprinklers are fully functional. Again, beautiful home, has lots to offer. We love, love helping families make their move, and we're getting this house sold for the family so that the next family can make it their home sweet home. I'm Lori Alvarez. This is our walkthrough of uh, Alicia Street and South El Monte. Again, three bedrooms, one bath, about 1,032 square feet. And of course, you're probably asking, currently, as of today, when we're talking about it, the house is priced out at 489,888 right and uh, we do anticipate that it's going to sell quickly so if you're interested I suggest you reach right out to us or your realtor of choice make that us I'm Lori Alvarez and you can catch me at 909-227-4196 and of course 
you can check us out at lorialvarez.net where we have other fantastic properties for you to take a virtual tour of, right? Because everyone is in virtual tour mode right now, right? We have to be safe, be healthy, be safe. Thanks again for tuning in. Hey, also, 